Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pokemon. We finally found a little Shinx. Look at this little Shinx. Look at me, so adorable. Oh, cuddles, cuddles. Alright, so, I was leveling up a Tsunami, our... Oh, hello, hello Shinx, I guess you wanted to battle. Well, that's perfect, Shinx, because we're going to capture you. I've been waiting to find that baby form of Luxray or whatever that thing was that was roaming around and you guys were so nice as to tell me that the actual little first evolution form was Shinx. So we're going to get Shinx right now. And then we're going to go check on those Eevees that we got. I can't, I can't remember exactly what Eevees we got, but we're going to check it out. So, false swipe. My apologies by the way- Ooh, is that a Munchlax? Do we have a Munchlax on this save? I can't remember. I think we do. I think we don't have one on the live stream. It's getting really confusing trying to keep these two saved games separate in my mind. Do not use the Master Ball. Do not use the Master Ball. But yes, I was raising Tsunami to level 35 because I believe that War Total evolves into Blastoise at level 36, as it should as one of those starters. Most of them evolve from their second to third forms at level 36. Captured the Shinx! Yes, marvelous. All right, so let us go. Nina, Nina. Uh, Hello, Nidorina. Very masculine for a female Pokemon, but anyway, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Get rid of this. Do, 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 do. Heal, heal, heal. Alright, very good. So, next order of business is to evolve our yeah, our war turtle into Blastoise, because it's about time that we get our Blastoise. Still don't have a Venusaur either, but nonetheless. Let's see, this level 27 Raticate seems prime for the killing. It's, uh, did not mean to send out our little tiny Zoryu, though. That that was a, a bad idea. Let's see if we can we can fix this. Oh, poor, poor Tsunami. Uh, Aqua Tail Bite. Are Dark super effective against normals? Critical hit? Oh, it was a critical hit, so either way, it was pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and take it out. You know, after streaming, after streaming this sort of thing so much, you come back to the, the single-player games and you realize that it sounds very quiet. We don't have any music playing, which we always do during our live streams. Oh, so do you. Congratulations on your level up. Let's see, the target is raked with sharp claws or size for two to five times in quick succession. Fake Tears. These are feigns crying to fluster the target. Throwing their special defense. Pursuit. Leer. Uh, let's get rid of Leer. I don't really care about Leer. Going to level 14 and 15. Alright! There we go. Uh, what level are you, Tsunami, since you're the one that I actually care about? Oh, you're about three-fourths of the way there. You're almost ready to become a Blastoise. Let's see, what about this Electrode? This guy, I bet this guy's going to use Explosion or something if we fight him, so let's go ahead and get into a fight and immediately switch out to Monsoon. Monsoon can be our... Uh, Ice Beam can be our Sacrificial Lapras. Use that Ice Beam, though. That's, that's a pretty, pretty nice looking texture right there on your show you got there, Lapras. Uh, definitely, definitely going to, to die as the Lapras. Oh, uh, Spark. Super effective and paralyzed, send out, let's send out our Scyther Razor, because I don't want to raise the level of our Charizard Flare anymore. Uh, Falls, Wing Attack or Slash, what do, what do, it's an electric type, let's go with Slash. I don't trust Wing Attack, it's a flying type move. Slash! Come on, come on, you can do it! 1,318, it's, yes, level 36! Are you going to evolve? Uh, Skull Bash. Uh, Skull Bash, what's the accuracy? 100? Yeah, sure, get rid of Tackle. Get rid of that. Level 40 for Razor, awesome! <gasps> huh? Our War Turtle forgot Tackle and learned Skull Bash. What War Turtle is evolving? Do, 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 do. I don't, I don't know, I can't. Continue evolving without any music, War Turtle. I believe in you. Jeez, you get big. Did, it, did our game just freeze? Nope, there we go. Oh, that Blastoise, though. Ah, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. Come on out. Come on out, Blastoise. Boom! Blast. Blast! Dude, you are freaking awesome. Look how buff you are, man. You are shredded. Hashtag shredded. 
Oh Blush. man, your your te- your texture's a little bit broken, but I mean, whatever. You have a broken texture. I still love you, Blastoise. You uh, you look like you may have. Your back is made up of approximately eight polygons. <laughs> Congratulations, Blastoise. Oh well, it's Minecraft. Most things are made up of like six. Again. Oh no, that's that's not what I want to do. I want to heal. There we go. All right, so now that we have Blastoise, I guess the next thing that we need to evolve is our Ivasaur. But before we do that, I want to see if we can evolve our Bellsprout, since we do indeed have quite a few of those amazing... Uh, wait a second, let's see. Do we have any more Eevees? Yes, we do. Um, we're gonna move this guy down here. I don't know why they changed the drag and drop to a click and click instead. I don't really like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, we do, we do have an Eevee left. And we need to decide Glaceon or Leafeon. I don't know if you guys voted for that in the last episode, because I didn't check the comments before I started this one. was sort of in a rush to start recording, because as you guys know, we're currently in the middle of releasing videos from Timeshot's very first UHC. If you haven't seen those already, you should go watch them, because they're hilarious. But we have to release those every two days, because that's what everyone else is doing. Uh, how about we switch you out with Zordio? Or Zo, whatever your name is, I don't know. We're gonna heal you as well, just because we're so kind. But yeah, so we're in the middle of releasing those those UHC videos, and as you guys know, everyone in Timeshot, they all decided to release the videos every 48 hours, which means that every two days, our video for the day is going to be a UHC video until all of those videos are used up, which is why this, this Pokemon video is so late, and why we're actually probably gonna be a little bit late on the fossils and archaeology mod Minecraft dinosaurs as well. Because although I do want to release two videos for a day, um, I'm in a time in my life at the moment where releasing two videos in a day would be sort of irresponsible of me. Because that's that would likely lead to me not having things to release some other day when I'm too busy to record. So sorry about that guys, many many apologies, but considering the fact that so many of you watch our videos every day, I'm going to assume that you guys are freaking awesome and you won't hate me for too long. You'll forgive me! I'm so sorry. <sighs> but no, really. Um, when I was streaming the other day, actually, we we had sort of a real talk when I was streaming. I I don't know if you guys were there. Some of you were. There were there were approximately sixty or sixty five people in the live stream when we were doing that. We had a real talk. I talked I talked all about how you guys send me emails and messages that make me feel so warm and fuzzy. And when I, when I said that I started playing League of Legends and that you guys could play League of Legends with me if you wanted to on the North American server and I supplied my referral link, which by the way, if you guys do play League of Legends, you can go check the video description for my referral link to start an account on the North American server where I play, and you can start an account that is linked immediately to my account as friends, and you can add me to your friends list, Megneus is my username, it's spelled the same way as everywhere else. And then we can play together. I've played with a lot of subscribers on League of Legends so far. And if you guys use my referral link, I get all sorts of awesome goodies like extra influence points and riot points, etc. But just from like one day of me offering that referral code, 12 people registered on the North American server to play with me. And some of them are already level 5, level 6, level 7. So, wow guys, that's, that's awesome. We've played a lot of games of League of Legends together. And that's totally cool. And I love that. But during the live stream, when we actually tested trying to stream League of Legends, actually, we, uh... We had great fun, and we had real talk, where basically I, I talked about some of the messages and emails that people have sent me. It warms my heart, and I got a little bit misty-eyed. It was a moment, guys, it was a moment, a moment not... not seen for so long. Uh, I don't need this, or this, or this. Why is there wool, or feathers, or... Any of this stuff? Why is any of this stuff here? Tim Apricorn still. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. I bet we have more. We do! I thought so. There we go. But yeah, that was that was an emotional moment. It was an emotional moment. Yeah, emotional moment. Also, I thought it important to mention that we do, in fact, have a Pixelmon series over on the live stream that is only for live stream people to offer suggestions for names and things like that when they're playing. 
So far, lots of people have offered names. I need some more of these orbs. I need I need to find those. The golden apple. What am I going to do with this golden apple? I have no idea. Alright. Okay, so this Eevee. This Eevee. I'm pretty sure stats... Happiness is zero. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure I don't need happiness to evolve an Eevee into Leafeon or Glaceon. However, I suppose if we just take this Eevee over here to this mossy rock thing over here and fight some Pokemon near this, I think it will level up? Maybe? Maybe? If there are any Pokemon anywhere near this rock, which I don't believe there are, I don't see any. Ghastly. What was that? That was weird. But yeah, real talk. So many feelings. Such feelings. So wow. Oh, man. You know, when, when one starts YouTubing, one, one always thinks like, oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty easy. Like, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna play video games, I'm gonna record them, I'm gonna upload them, and maybe if people like me, they'll come and follow, and they'll subscribe, and stuff like that. But then very quickly, as you, like, start to grow, you realize that a lot of people put a lot more feeling into their, their subscription to your channel than just, you know, this is a guy who makes videos. A lot of them, they care about you very much so, and they, they send you emails to that effect, and whenever you're feeling down or you're feeling sad, they come out and they support you, and it's just... It's just too much for me emotionally sometimes. I'm like impressed, I'm stunned, I'm... Oh, uh, Blastoise, you, you probably shouldn't fight that much likes. I don't I don't even know if we need that much likes at the moment. I'm pretty sure we already have one. Come on, run away! Tsunami! Maybe, maybe we should just kill it. All right, all right. I guess, I guess we're just gonna bite it into submission then since... Oh, I'm so sorry, Munchlax. Did, did we did we get a Munchlax? Actually, Munch. Yes, we did. All right, very good. Oh, sigh. I think this is the evolved form of that other strange creature that we caught and put into our our PC, though. So, oh no, I didn't. I didn't actually want to fight it. Oh man, what do I do? Maybe it's Steel type. What should I do? Aqua Tail. What does this do? It does absolutely nothing. Bite. Bite does literally nothing. Alright, so clearly Aqua Tail is the thing that we need to go for. Even though it doesn't really do- Oh, Tsunami, you're gonna die. Tsunami, what's wrong with you? Okay, it's dead. Ah. Monsoon! Go Monsoon. I don't- I don't want to die this, this weird humanoid robot Pokemon. I don't even know what this thing Bisharp. Bisharp? I don't. Bisharp. What? How, can, how could you do this to me, Bisharp? Oh, come on. Kill it. Bisharp. Kill it. What is that thing? Have we caught that? I think so. What why is there no music? Why can I not kill this thing? There we go. Oh my gosh, so much experience. Okay, what is that thing's name? Where did it go? I can't find it. What is this? Baby form of Wobbuffet? Why not? I think I think that's the baby form of Wobbuffet. Let's go let's go ahead and see if we can capture this thing. There we go. Why not? Why not? False swipe? Did we already catch one of these things? I can't remember. We're, we're gonna go ahead and catch it anyway, just in case. Oh, my goodness. But yes, the UHC. The UA You know, the UHC, I haven't really talked about the UHC much outside of actually in the UHC. Well, either way, I guess we have Why Not now. I've never played a UHC before. As many of you noticed, I uh, made a lot of mistakes. For example, I didn't pick up the gold. Oh, well, I guess maybe I shouldn't talk about it too much, just in case you guys want to watch it. But needless to say, spoiler alert, I made a lot of mistakes and uh, didn't do a lot of things I should have done. 
That's probably because I've literally never played UHC before. It was my first time. I didn't I didn't do as badly as I thought I would. But nonetheless, I don't know. It feels bad, man. It feels bad. But it was fun. It was fun. And I guess in the end, really, that's all that matters. Is that it was fun and I got to play with my friends and we had some good laughs. But man, it would have been nice if I could have done a little, little bit better than I did. What was that? Was that a Pidgey? Yeah, I guess that, I guess that was just a Pidgey. Hmm. Need to find. Oh yeah, we were we were trying to find a mossy stone that actually has Pokemon near it, in order to. Attempt to evolve our Eevee, but uh, I don't, I don't see, I don't see any mossy stones at all. Oh, uh, oh, we're fine, we're fine, no worries. Whee! Hello, Pidgey. Level two, Pidgey. Level two, Pidgey wants to fight our Flare. All right, very good. Dead. Dekirk. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, I, I wanted to evolve our Eevee into either Leafeon or Glaceon this episode because we're almost done collecting Eevees. We're really close. But I, I can't find any of those. What in the world is that? Oh, that's an Onyx. I was like, that's a very strange landmass right there. Hmm. Oh, and also, I know that a lot of you know Poet Plays. If you guys don't know Poet Plays, I don't know what you've been doing since I play with him pretty, pretty often on Timeshot and stuff like that, or at least I, I play with him. We don't always record together, but I mean, a lot of you, a lot of you know both of us because we both do Pixelmon as well as we... That is a very tiny Butterfree. Oh my gosh, that's like actually the size of a butterfly. Wow, Butterfree. Congratulations on being the smallest Butterfree in the world. But most of you probably know Poet Plays. I'm not I'm not gonna say that it's like guaranteed or anything, not, but I'm talking to Poet about a series. I don't know if it's gonna go through yet. I don't know. <gasps> Pachuizu! Pachuizu! There's here's that squirrel that I tried to catch before. I don't know if we caught it or not. But we're we're gonna we're gonna catch this just in case, because I saw it before. And I think it got away. I think we didn't manage to catch it, but this time, this time, my friends, we're gonna get this thing. Pachirisu, stay in your Ultra Ball! But yeah, so Poet and I, I'm talking to Poet about starting a series. I'm not gonna tell you anything other than that. It's since, you know, it's not confirmed yet or not, so we don't know if it'll go through. I don't know if he'll have time, because, you know, Poet's a very busy man. But, just in case you guys were interested in knowing a little bit of gossip about the Magnius's life, that's something to look forward to, just in case it, it does go through. Heal our Pokemon. Uh, Bellsprout. What to do about Bellsprout? We we have a Leaf Stone or two, I think. I don't really like Victory Bell at all. Um, but whatever. I don't even care. Where's that Mossy Stone? There's literally no Pokemon near this Mossy Stone, like, at all. How am I supposed to level up Eevee near a Mossy Stone if there's no... Oh, wait, 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 here... Here's a Pokemon, here... If I stand near the Mossy Stone and I throw my Eevee all the way over there, does that work? Oh, there's a Tangela. Maybe, maybe I should, like, clear out this area so that Pokemon spawn here. Do I have... I do! Huh, wow. That's amazing. I, I didn't expect to actually have an Iron Axe. Alright, here we go. Get rid of some of these trees so I can actually see things. So that more Pokemon will actually spawn here. Toss it! Yes! Okay, very good. Uh, this might evolve our Eevee. This might do the trick, guys. Okay, so Eevee's been sent out, switching it out so that it doesn't die. 
Grass Whistle, I have no idea what that does, but we're going to use this this flying move. It used to protect. That's too bad, it's not going to save you, Swadlin. There you go. If he's grown to level 13, we are standing right next to this thing. Quick attack. Uh, Yeah, let's get rid of Growl. I don't care about Growl. Okay, so clearly that didn't work the way I thought it did. Do we have to get it to a certain level first, or a certain happiness? Maybe we have to get it to a certain happiness. If that's if that's true, then we we cannot evolve this particular Eevee since its its happiness is so freaking low. I don't think I can move the mossy stones using silk touch either. Hmm. Oh, there's a trainer. There's a trainer. Can a legendary spawned in the plains biome? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, it's Rayquaza. It's Rayquaza. Flare. Flare, let's go. Can I hop on you? I cannot hop on you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fly. There it is. There it is. We're gonna fight that Rayquaza. Do you see it? You see it, guys, right? Oh my gosh. We're going for this Rayquaza. There are two Rayquazas. Fight the Rayquaza. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is it. And <laughs> this is the moment. We have the Master Ball. How do we fight it? How do we fight it? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Send out, send out something. It doesn't even matter what we send out. Oh, <laughs> how do we fight this thing? It's flying. Literally, it's it's flying. How do we do this? Rayquaza, come here. How do we fight you? How do we fight you? Come on. Fight me! Get into a battle with me! Get into a battle with me, Rayquaza! Oh, this is this is very anticlimactic. How do we do this? Hang on, hang on. You're flying, you're flying. I'm right here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you somehow. Ugh! Come on! Fight me! Fight me! Yes! There we go, okay. So we're in a battle with Rayquaza. Um, I don't know where it is, but we do have a Master Ball. Bag, Pokeballs, Master Ball, go! <laughs> you captured Rayquaza! First legendary! Oh my gosh! Oh, man, Flare. Flare, you are an amazing Pokemon. Look at you fly. Look at you go. You're flapping your wings now, actually. Jeez, look at this. Look at this quality. And there's another Rayquaza. Two more Rayquazas. Why Why all of a sudden do all of these Rayquazas just spawn out of nowhere? Look at these things. It's like Rayquaza mating season or something. Holy crap. We have no more Master Balls, though, so there's not much we can do about it. But we did catch one. And I am going to go and get that thing. Right now, this is a little bit longer of an episode than I was hoping for. But nonetheless. Uh, okay, okay. Nope, nope, nope. I want to get, I want to get off. There we go. And, uh, let's... Nope. There we go. Okay, we're, we're going to deposit Flare for just a moment. Flare, I love you, but I love Rayquaza more at the moment. Oh, level 70 Rayquaza. Oh, Okay, let's uh, let's let's go to sleep first. I want to go to sleep. And we wake up. It's morning. It's a wonderful day to send out a legendary Pokemon, which apparently has like mating seasons and thousands of them spawn. <gasps> Rayquaza, I'm gonna jump on you. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing thing ever. Oh, oh, oh my god. Rayquaz is a little bit too big to all fit in the screen. That's that's my only my only gripe. <laughs> I am the most amazing Pokemon trainer who has ever lived. So that, that concludes our episode, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy right now. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.